If you are a Java developer or preparing for Java interview, learn this Java new feature called Record Pattern Matching. Introduced in Java 21 and stay up to date with the Java latest version. Just like we used to have some special classes in Java like Enum, in the recent version of Java, we have another specialized class called Record. So we have a record created over here called sum. And imagine we have a couple of variables inside this record. Imagine int a and int b. Now let's understand what is record pattern matching or the record deconstruction. Now let's create a new record object, which is sum and initialize these variables as 10 and 20. As I said, as this is a special kind of class, I can also store this object in a super class reference like object obj. Now here is the requirement for you. I want you to extract the variables from this sum record and I want you to perform the summation with these two value that the variables a and b are holding. So how you will be doing it? So first of all, just to be safe, you need to have an instance of check. Like if object is an instance of sum and if this is true, I'm going to declare my sum variable over here and I will be extracting the value of a and value of b just like calling the getter provided by the record, which is auto-generated. Now let's just face the value. I'm going to say int value one and int value two. And finally, I'm going to do the sum and print their result. Something like this. If you're going to run this, it is going to print 30 as a result. Now, as part of Java 21, if you have a record like this, whenever you're going to do an instance of check, you do not need to declare the variable. You can directly define the value one and the value two variable right inside the if clause. And as a result, you do not have to call this getter and face this value explicitly. And there you go. Your instance of pattern matching is ready. So if the object is an instance of sum, then I'm going to directly extract the value from these variables and will be bind it with these variables right away. If you're going to simply run this code, you're going to get 30 as a result. Isn't it a cool feature?